Alright, what does this guy have on him? Oh, he had a parasite. Oh, I took everything. I want to talk to Ollie before you guys leave. That sneak attack at the top really, uh, from above really, uh, made a difference there. Drow poison, a speedy reply, a scimitar. All right, cool. Whole bunch of food. This is the, the food guy. I think that's everything. We did search yours, right? Find? Why is it not showing that we did? Took everything. I don't know. It's not saying empty on him. Anyway, um, what did we get from him? Was it just these scrolls? We got this shattered flail. It's a mace. Plus two weapon enchantment. Hitting an enemy with this weapon heals the wielder for one d six hit points. But they can, but they can go mad if they don't continue hitting an enemy each turn. Ah, interesting. Cool. Okay. Sorry by type. Very close to being encumbered. I have to work on that. Maybe we should we should probably store all the books in our uh in our place, huh? Uh, wish I had a bag of holding. Where'd Ollie go? Ollie? Where you at, boy? Mm, what's that? I mean, that's their caravan supplies. Oh, that's a bigger cave than I thought it was. You guys are really holed up in here. Wait. How'd I miss Ollie? Ollie? I don't believe it. The guy left without me saying he could leave. Oh, damn it. Alright, well, we need to. Um, ooh, healing potion. Wait, was that. I didn't mean to take that. Wait. Something's on my mind. Ollie, goddammit. I'm gonna talk to you, and you're gonna like it. I'll be glad when we're out of this bloody cave. Okay, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> All right, let's go to camp. That was definitely worth it. Oh, I guess we're camping in that cave. That makes sense. Uh, where's where's Withers at? Withers. I need to revive uh what's his face? Will. Fate. Dost thou require a new uh, may I entrust you oh, trust them to your watch for now? Instead. One of my fallen is one of my companions has fallen, may I entrust them to your watch for now? What does that mean? I need to resurrect someone. Then thou must return with the proper payment. Resurrect Will. This is the price of balance. Here's the gold. Well, counted. I get approval for all that. I recommend keeping my distance for a moment. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. That's really cool. Welcome back, Will. All right, cool. All right, let's go around and talk to everybody. You wish to speak? Nope. Just my companions. Shadowheart. 
Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. Mm. Indeed. Oh, hello, Scratch. How's that good boy? Who needs some pettings? Oh, yeah. Nice big Scratch. Love him. Gotta have a dog at the camp in every good RPG. Karlax all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. Hmm. Uh. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Nothing. Nothing. Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold. Hmm. These dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. Hmm. A greater master? Who or what could that be? Elders? Doesn't sound like something I want to encounter. The Absolute is this master, I'm sure of it. Fever dreams born of the parasite. They should be ignored. A greater master? Who or what? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Hmm. Okay. Karlak. Why are we slowing down? Get asleep. All right. Uh, oh my god, you got a lot to talk about. Um, how do you feel, or how? I'd like to hear how you ended up fighting in the Blood Wars. Why not? Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak. A knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Hmm. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zerio. Who was it? Go on, then. Tell them. If you're expert in your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Who was it that gave you up? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Hmm. In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've gotten typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> hmm. Now that those paladins are out of your way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned right. up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. 
Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Hmm. Let's talk about that. Old Rusty? Sure. Hmm. What does it do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. Hmm. You must be pent up. <laughs> What's that been like? I wouldn't mind that myself. I've never been one for too much contact. <laughs> uh, what's that been like? Agonizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. A pat. Anything. You've never met anyone so desperate for a hug as this one right here. Pathetic, perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Oh, well. Can't have it all, can you? Not today, at least. Hmm. I'm gonna give her a hug now. Gail. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. I can't help just now. Bear with me, please. Sure, I got another one. Um. Mm. This one, right? The Watcher's Guide is what we want to give up. Yeah, I don't want that. You can have that. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Good gods. Now there has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on. You're among friends. Yeah, go on. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. And such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my love. Nice. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Bold. If you would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse. I don't believe a word of what you're saying. <laughs> Are you telling me you made, a, you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Hmm. Wizards, am I right? Always searching for more power. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? You thought you knew better than Mistra? You're more fool than I thought. I applaud your ambition. How did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Let's hear it all. Yeah, tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it 
is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? What was the answer to that question? I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether then. <laughs> so your grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water in the sea. Brilliant. I like the second one. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread moon. Yank your hand away. How are you still alive? Gods, why show me this? All this time I've been traveling with a monster. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight. This orb for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. You will die. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. Graham, walking with a nuclear warhead. <laughs> Is there nothing we can do? I trusted you, Gale. You should have told me right away. Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? By rights, I should kill you. Is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I don't know why I think it was a betrayal. Like, he didn't really lie at all. Like, if I recall... When he first asked me for the magical items, he said, like, it was, it would be dangerous otherwise. Like, not as a threat, but, like, like, almost pleading, right? I don't know. I don't really feel betrayed by what's happened here. It's not like he led me to believe something completely different than that. He never told me the opposite. Like, he didn't lie, basically. 
This I don't think he did. We've come this far together and we'll continue on together. This is how it will be. If we were to part ways, where would you go? You pose too grave a threat. This is a goodbye, Gal. Um, yeah, you'll come with us. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. I like Gale. I like Gale a lot. He's a good. He's good people. Okay. As I march my way back to my bed, it is bedtime. To bed, all of you. Let's go. Bedtime. You too, Scratch. Oh. What's going on here? Hell's fire. She's coming. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Hello? Oh my. <laughs> and you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Uh, just who in the nine hells are you? Well, well, aren't you a luscious thing? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm that horny. <laughs> or, I mean, I don't think Rook is that horny. I uh, won't talk about myself. Just who in the nine hells are you? Why is that? Oh, there we go. Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Go on. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly. Hmm. This cut seems a... And his leash needs a yank. Damn. We had a deal, Will. But Carlite's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Carla. Zariel sends her regards. I don't know why the dialogue's acting like this. It's kind of annoying. You told me devils only. She's a tiefling, not a monster. How precious. The little pupsters found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Mmm, she has an artificial heart, right? Get to the point, devil. What do you want? If we kill Karlak now, will that get rid of you? You better not lay a damn finger on Carlock. Blast it all, Will. Why did you tell me about her? I've heard enough. You're not leaving this place alive. I don't think that's a good idea. What do you want? And the point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence. 
and their torment. God damn. Holy shit. That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. On on Karlak or on me? <laughs> Hold on now. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Damn, Will. Damn, that's rough. That is tough. I guess we should go talk to him. Yeah. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right. And Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pacts tend to be unforgiving from what you know. Mm. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. You warned me about Raphael, but our pack but our pact to Mizora? What a fraud. The Blade of the Frontiers has some explaining to do. Uh What did you expect? She's a devil. Hardly the paragon of honesty. You've been turned into a devil, an appropriate punishment, I'd say. You're lucky she didn't take your soul when she came. Yeah, man, you're lucky she didn't take more. I'd count my lucky stars for it, but I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Hmm. What are the terms of your pact? How you should get out of this pact. How in the hell did you get involved with Mazora? What are the terms of Yeah, how did you get involved with her? Ah. The one little question that put me out of house and home. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact I'm forbidden unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll go have like a night talk with everybody after that event. Yeah, nope. Carlac might have something to say about that though. Oh yeah, she does. Cool, cool, cool. You okay over there? Um. Ah. Uh, game's acting a little weird. That's not good, is it? Let's save it and try and reload. I hope it didn't bug badly. I don't know. It's slowing down a lot. Which is not good because we're not very far into the game, really. I mean, I guess... 
No, we're not really. We're like 20 hours or so. 21, something like that. We've got a long way to go, I think. A long way to go. Also, this session was supposed to be like a quick session did at night. An hour session, one episode. Uh, we're two and a half hours into the session now. Yep. Not really complaining. Just thought you guys would know how much I'm enjoying this game. Ah, uh, can't put it down. Cannot put it down. You know, I'll just quit my job and play Baldur's Gate all day. The rest of my life. There we go. That's a plan. Oh, that's the dream, right? That's the dream. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Or maybe not good. Oh, no. What if I go over here and talk? No time for chat just now. Um, this is bad. Guys, that's never a good sign. It's never a good sign. Oh, man. Oh, man. When was the last save? Oh, you got to be kidding me. I have an idea. Ah, oh, that sucks. What if we just leave camp and then come back? Maybe we can do something like that. Ah, uh, that's annoying. It's annoying. Uh, sorry for whining at you guys. <laughs> How are you guys doing today, by the way? I don't know, just, you know. Is up uh, are these videos usually get uploaded around uh, eight a.m. EST? So it's usually morning. So I hope you guys are having a, a good morning if you're watching this on the East Coast when it comes out. And you know, if you're not on the East Coast, and whatever you're watching, then I hope you're having a good time. Hope your day's going well. Okay. can't do that. You can't move. What if you go to bed? Shit. Any way to get out of te out, out of this? Hmm. Attack, attack. <laughs> that work? Okay. Sorry. This has to be done. For the good of us all. You must die, you evil bugged creature. This needs to be done. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here, get up. He's still in dialogue? Okay, kill him. Kill him permanently. Wait, this is gonna... This isn't gonna work, is it? What if I kill you? Come on. I have to help her up. He can't be in dialogue anymore, right? He's still in dialogue. Oh my god. I'm not doing that damn null fight over again. I did it perfectly. I don't want to do it again. Please. Alright. 
Who are you in dialogue with, buddy? Let's get going. Maybe I need there we go. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay. Hey, man. Can you revive her? Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Which of them dost thou require? This is the price of balance. No, dost thou require anything? Hey, that's else? a lot of gold that we've spent for this stuff. Alright, well he's doing that. Go ahead. I'm listening. Rise. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over He's a good guy. Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Hmm. He's a good man. Maybe the best of us. He must be relieved. A foolish decision and now have to pay consequences. He's a good man. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Hmm. Um... Wait. Did he not do it? Did he take my money and, and, and waste it? Um... Okay. <laughs> You're freaking me out, Lazelle. You are freaking me out. I should speak up. Huh. So that's a real bug. And that's a real bad bug, guys. That's a real bad bug. I think we might have just lost Lazelle. Hopefully I, she'll be better after a long rest. Oh no. Oh no. I'm a little worried. Surely we don't lose her for good. Hmm. Would I restart the game for her? I like her a lot. But at the same time, you know, I don't think she's necessarily Rook's favorite person. I think the main thing for her and Rook is that they escaped together. You know? Okay. Now, if Shadowheart broke, then I think we'd have to restart. <laughs> Please don't be broken. Oh, God. Huh. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Did you want Damn, that outfit, man. Mmm. Um... You know what? Let's, let's talk about it. You and I, we share something special, I think. I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. But go ahead. How are you feeling? Admit it. You've never had a relationship quite like this one, have you? How are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a dark justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Oh, she is in love with me. She is whipped. Okay. Leave. <laughs> Alright, let's go to sleep. Full rest. Who's snoring? Carlac, stop snoring. Okay. So, long rest done. Man, he looks so much different with the horns. Okay. Hey. Are you fixed? Because I kind of want to bring you with me. Because we might go up to your people in the next section. It's not fixed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's not good. 
<laughs> no siree, that is not good. Hmm. I was just thinking, like, how, how are we gonna... I don't know. What are we gonna do? Maybe if we leave and then come back? I'm not sure. Maybe it's the cave setting that's messed her up? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Okay, well. <sighs> One day I'll catch a Let's go ahead and leave camp. Oh, they've already uh, gone out, huh? Ooh, they have some alchemist fires for me. I'll take those. So when we look at our map here, we're going to explore the rest of this cave, but... Yeah, over there we've got find the missing shipment. So this is going to be a, a town, probably. And then the Kithinki are around there, and so is the mountain pass. Now, obviously, we've got a lot of stuff still to do down here in the goblin area. But yeah. Just make sure we don't see any missing areas here. I don't think so. That didn't go anywhere, right? No. There's this. Now we get up there. We'll have to go check that out at some point. Oh, yeah. There's the Owlbear Cave, too. With the Owlbear Cub over there. We got to go save. Still got a lot to do. Still got a ton to do in this region. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're nowhere close to being done here. Alright, but we'll look around here real quick and then we'll uh, probably set up camp again, see if she's fixed. And if she's not, then I don't I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully the uh, game will be patched and something will change. I don't know. Otherwise, Lazelle's gone. Which would be very unfortunate. Open heresy. Few recognize Shar as a goddess of, of creation or Saloon as a goddess of destruction, yet both are true. Born in the primordial ebb and flow of time, they forged a beer Torel together and Shantea, Shantea, mother of life, sprung into existence, light and dark, hung in perfect balance, embraced by Shar, enlightened by a Saloon. Yet their creator or their creations were cold and distant, and Shantea prayed for warmth. This simple request divided the sisters, driving them to conflict. But it was Saloon that forced true flame into Abir Torel, sparking the sun. How could Shar not be harmed by such a betrayal, forced to war against both the light of the sun and the light of the moon? As the goddesses or the goddesses tore each other asunder, they formed new gods and new conflicts. All for the sake of a little warmth. The lesson is this. To put selfish comforts over the fate of existence is folly. For those who understand, the Lady of Loss is always listening. Hmm. Interesting. More wine. Healing potion too. Hmm? What is this? Rotten chicken eggs. Well, I don't want those. You get out of my way. Good catch. Is that blood? No, never mind. Ah, <sighs> Will. Is that a poison cloud there? That's not good. Should be easy. Oh, it's clear. Okay. Good roll. Good roll. Beautiful. I Reason's grasp. Ever vigilant. When the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit points. Oh, cool. Well, we know who those go to then. Awesome. No one back home will ever believe.
believe this. I should mind my step. Okay, so now we head out, right? Well, I guess over here we just jump across that, right? Yeah, I guess we can do that. And we'll come out the other side. You can jump that, right? Yeah, easy. We haven't tried dyeing our clothes yet. We should try doing that. Ow. Well, why do you keep switching back to your... That hurt a lot. I guess we can't go that way now. Okay. Well. At the ready. <laughs> now we need to rest again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, we can do... Song of Rest. It's a good heal right there. And that'll be good enough because we're actually going to be replacing Will with Gale, I think. Or Shadowheart. Or, uh... Maybe it'll be good when I, if I can't get her back because I can never remember her name. Faisal? That's the symbol of the absolute they found. Marked in blood. Oh. I see. All right, well, we are outside now. So maybe going to a different camp will make a difference. Let's find out. Yeah, I think we will take her if uh, if she works. But if she doesn't work, then we're kind of, uh, kind of screwed. And I want to take Karlak with me a little longer. Because she's new and shiny. Uh, I'd like you to wait in camp for now. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Yes. Remain here. And just when things were warm. Look at him already making already making devil humor. I don't know, that, that little symbol or that the little pose there didn't uh give me a lot of confidence. Lazel. I don't know why they always think there's a an F in her name. Maybe it's just taking a long time. All right. Well, that really sucks. And it leaves me extremely... Uh, we might have to redo the null fight. I might have to do that on my own time. Mm, which means this is going to be a shorter episode. I mean, it's either that or we never use her again. She bugged out after the, the cutscene with Will. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I might have to end the episode here, maybe, and um, go and do that on my own time. Because, I mean, I obviously don't want to go any further if I'm going to have to redo everything again on my own time. Hmm. Oh, shit. I don't even know if those things are still active, are they? Okay, they are. Good. Phew. I didn't know if, like, the quick saves... Maybe we shouldn't be quick saving either. I don't know. Are those... Are we... Is there, like... We're not getting, like, save game bloat or anything, are we? Usually they, they like, recycle quick saves, don't they? I don't know. It... 
All I know is that she's not working, and I kind of want her to be a part of the group. <laughs> uh, be a bummer not to have her. So I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. In the next episode, hopefully she will be working again. If she doesn't work, if she bugs again, then we're just going to go without. And hopefully, uh, owl, not owl cat, <laughs> Larry and uh, fixes it in the future before the playthrough's over. I mean, I don't know what else to do. If it, otherwise, we're not restarting the game. If I were going to restart the game, we probably wouldn't play as Rook again. And I really like Rook. I really like him. I think he's a really fun uh, main character. But I just wouldn't want to do it again. I don't really like playing the same character twice. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, just reloading it and um, redoing the fight and all that will work. But until the next episode, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you later.